Welcome to this special edition of Union Solidarity International and we are talking with uh, an actress and an artist, Katerina Musatsos, who is joining us live from LA. Katerina, it's a pleasure to have you with us on USI. Uh, the pleasure is mine and uh, thank you so much for, for honouring me with this invitation. Katerina, as being part of the, the Greek diaspora, I'd be really interested in getting your perceptions of how you view things in Greece at the moment, because I know you're someone who's very active on social media, on Twitter and YouTube, and you've been very much involved in trying to get the story out to a wider audience of what is actually going on in Greece. Do you want to just give us your perceptions on what it's like to look from the outside in? Yes, uh, first of all, let, let me specify that I'm part of the new diaspora, actually the very new diaspora, even though I'm not, um, I'm not a person who left once the crisis hit Greece. I left Greece in 2007, so um, I don't know if it was my intuition sort of uh, seeing things were not really right or just a personal, uh, you know, life-changing experience that I needed. Uh, but, uh, but now I can be among, you know, the, the, the new group of the new diaspora, I'm like the, the youth that has to leave anyway because things for, for, for us would be very limited in our country. So the good thing about being from the new diaspora and not the old one is that you you know what's going on in your country because you grew up there so you have all this uh, life experience and 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 you're still in contact with your country because I'm back and forth all the time um, and and yet you have the luxury of of a distance so you have access to you know all other platforms on the social media or um, on social media or on you know foreign foreign press and you know you know what the other people are saying what the other people are thinking so you you kind of have a broader perspective of what is going on I think uh, so that's um, I guess that's a that's a great way of being able to at least explain the situation better and um, you don't find solutions but at least you have a better perspective so having made that huge introduction um, so things look really bad uh, to be honest uh, they always kinda looked if not bad to me um, I always thought there was a, a kind of asphyxiating atmosphere in Greece for, for young people unable to um, you know really breathe a, a democratic way of, 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 of you know raising in, 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 in society um, I always felt there was a problem I at the time I could not relate it to an economic you know uh, problem or um, I thought it was more of a mentality issue in Greece. So, so now everything from from outside looks about the same. But on top of it all, you know, people are being deprived of of their rights of democracy. Um, you know, extremely the the cuts are, are huge. So, so it's 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 a terrible change in people's lives in Greece. And, and you know it's very clear for all of us and there's we don't see the light at the end of the tunnel that's the problem thanks for that response Katerina I mean I'm particularly interested in how the diaspora whether it's new or old has actually been one of the main vehicles for actually distributing the truth because as we know in Greece not dissimilar to other countries around the world, there is such a concentration of power in the media that the stories that are happening every day do not get the light of day, sometimes within Greece, never mind out with Greece. I mean, we see the recent case of Costas Vaxifanas, which is just an absolutely shocking case where someone 
who does try to speak the truth is being threatened with murder uh, because of his activities. And it seems to me that looking on the social media, that people like yourself, who's got a very high profile on social media streams and other people around the world out with Greece are proving to be a very useful and actually essential tool in trying to spread the truth of what is going on in Greece at the moment. Do you see yourself in that context or are you just happen to, you know, contribute in your own way and are not very aware of actual the actual importance that you and other people around the world are playing? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I, I kind of, you know, it's funny because with me, hap with me, everything happened in a very coincidental way. I just made a video about a year ago on YouTube. Um, you know, just it, it was a heartfelt video about actually a parody. So it's it, it's actually an artistic piece more than anything. I did this more as a performer. I did not do this as news or, or even as as myself. Uh, so that video called "I Am Helene" uh, was perceived in a very controversial way in my own country. So it's it's funny that you're saying uh, that you you see me as a contributor, and I <laughs> I never ever thought of me in that role. It's just that that video then. Um, it was so impacting on 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 me on myself. It was it was very impacting on other people, I guess. But it was impacted on me too. So um, that led me to to realize that the people, you know, are in need of, of of some more awareness. And I was just trying. I still am trying to find the best way to to reach out to them um, and 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 hear what they have to say. And I'm talking. To, I'm not only talking about my own people, you know, but but the world. Now we have this great luxury of of being connect, being all connected. You know, you're there. I'm here, and and we're talking. So um, so I so it was you know it was a big coincidence. It was a great coincidence. Um, so I'm really I'm really I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about letting people know what really is going on. Um, Sometimes I get a lot of you know critique from from the Greeks because they say, oh, why do you tweet in in English, not in Greek? Why do you make your videos in English, not in Greek? I mean, you know, the answer is obvious. <laughs> I, I I don't even have to respond to this. So in a way, I guess I do take this little contribution seriously, but I don't think I'm. Sometimes I'm doing a better job than other times. Sometimes I have more time, but yes, it's 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 become the center of my of my of my life, of my attention, and even of my art and my work. I, I value it a lot, and I, you know, I mean, that's the new way of fighting what's going on. You know, being there on social media and trying to spread the word. Thanks for that wonderful response, Katerina. And you just mentioned a word there that neatly takes me on to my next question, which is art. Now, we have seen in various generations how the artistic community, uh, whether they be writers, actors, playwrights, artists, whatever, the, the, whatever their mode of communicating their art might have been, have been very integral to taking on the, the mantra of the day. I mean, for example, recently we had the death of a former Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, where music in particular was used to depict the social crisis that was going on within the United Kingdom of that time, and how it was a very, very powerful medium in terms of spreading a message of how people were feeling, the despair that they were feeling, the emotions that they were feeling. And I know you've got some views on the artistic response or lack of it, actually, from Greece. Would you like to say a little bit more about that, Katerina? Because I think this is a very important point. It's funny how the, the, the music of the, of the early 80s and, 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 and onwards, you know, was still, is the music of today. It's, 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 and that's what makes it an incredible uh, that 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 what that's what makes art of an incredible power um, 
as far as let's say um, a mobilization of Greek artists, um, it's it's hard to 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 think of an example of um, you know uh, people who are really. I mean, there are a lot of people who are active. I, I've seen it. I've, I see them on Twitter. A lot of um, Greek artists. It, there hasn't yet been a very comprehensive, let's say, um, action towards towards such a goal. But I guess art is also spontaneous. So, so people um, have a lot of problems that they have to deal with on their daily life. I know a lot of my friends back in Greece, actors, extremely successful and famous, you know, are trying to make ends meet. So you can't blame them for not taking for not taking action on for a greater cause it's they don't have time for that it's so um, yeah I mean it would be great if you know in this horrible situation of crisis we see you know some 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 art coming out and I'm sure we will if we're not seeing already um, I do worry sometimes because especially when you're you know you read your timeline on Twitter and I I follow quite a lot of uh, people in Greece uh, from friends to completely unknown every age range possible just because there's something you know interesting in their profile or not interesting because I'm interested in knowing what everyone's saying and sometimes and I'm sure this happens in everyone's timeline it's it's almost like it's it's you live in a schizophrenic world where oh everything is cool and then everything is just horrible so um, and that's very very intense in the Greek society nowadays and especially uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna take my my uh, personal case as an example let's say upper middle class people are in that very uh, weird position where they don't know if things are okay or not okay so so as a result I think art uh, needs maybe more extreme and spontaneous people into taking action it, it takes a, a more extreme uh, situations and, and more extreme um, initiatives for art to blossom which I think we're going to be seeing really soon but yeah, no, so far I haven't really seen an organized action from, from the artistic world. And I would just like to make an appeal to anybody who perhaps is watching this clip on USI Live 2012's YouTube channel or on iTunes to either get in touch with Katerina or myself that perhaps we can put like-minded people in touch with each other to start a conversation about how we can provide a artistic response whether it is with people in Greece or the wider interested community. I know that for example we are going to be releasing a documentary very soon about the the case of the HIV woman which is going to be released in the next couple of months which is part of what we hope is an artistic response to communicating the, the social humanitarian, the human rights crisis that is going on in Greece at the moment. Katerina, I know as, as someone who is very you know, experienced in using social media and the power of social media, you referred to it earlier on in our conversation whereby this is, came as a surprise to you in many respects, how your first YouTube video, I Am Hel Helenine, actually has around 1.5 million views and I know that this is something that came as a big surprise to you and I think this is something worth, worth extrapolating upon because I think a lot of people sit down and think about how they can harness the power of social media when in actual fact you approached it in the, the opposite direction. You produced your video not intending to have the consequences that it did and it went viral and I think this is a very interesting example about how people you know can plan and strategize how to use social media and then you have your example where something just takes off yeah and and the funny part in this is that you know um, 
you, <laughs> you're being blamed for actually doing something for your career. <laughs> so, and, and, and for people who really know social media and YouTube, they, they know that this is actu actually really impossible. Uh, you, you, if you plan on it, you really don't help your career. Um. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I know but, that for a fact. <laughs> right. So uh, yeah, there, there there is a spontaneous, um, th and that's what social media and especially YouTube has proven, I guess. Because after that video, of course, I got into, um, I got into, you know, becoming more passionate about social media as well and I and I realized that most of the things that become viral have this um, unpredictability factor so uh, you gotta go with your heart that that's the main message for for art and social media and, and if you wanna if, if you wanna do it towards a political cause you gotta do it you know just spontaneously that that's for sure Katerina, I think that's a, an absolutely perfect point to end on and I think to take that last point that you've made and to take that away that anybody who's watching this who is socially minded, politically minded, that to pay attention to what Katerina has got to say because I know I certainly will. It only leaves me to thank you Katerina for participating in this Google Plus Hangout. This is USI Live's first Google Plus Hangout, so hopefully it has went according to plan, and I know it's your first time of trying it, so <laughs> it's, it's an experiment in social media for the both of us, Katerina. It is. I hope, <laughs> I hope we can continue this conversation, and as I said, put people in the artistic community, whether they reside in Greece or out with it, who have got an interest in what Greece and what is going on in Greece today, I would encourage everybody who is of that mind to contact either myself at USI Live via our contact page or to contact Katerina via the social media streams so we can begin a conversation about how we can use the power of art to communicate our message more effectively and engaging than perhaps otherwise has been done so far. Absolutely, I'm 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 in for any, you know, uh, crazy radical, radically artistic idea, and and uh, you know, in any way I can help, that that'll help a lot of people. And you know, let's not forget uh, the catharsis that all of us need in in this very difficult in v these very difficult times worldwide. Thank you very much, Katerina, and goodbye and enjoy your day in LA. Thank you. Thank you.